This is a very short story meant to encourage you, and it's called The Mockingbird and the Crow. There was a mockingbird, and the beautiful songs that she would sing would just launch itself out through the forest, and all the animals knew that the mockingbird was just a beautiful singer. Off and on through the day, the mockingbird, mockingbird would sit on a branch and just offer these beautiful songs, and all the woodland creatures would stop just to listen. One day, while she was sitting on the branch singing, a crow came along and sat on the same branch, and the crow said, I can sing better than you. And the mockingbird went, No, you can't. Everybody knows that I'm the most beautiful singer in the forest. And the crow said, No, I can sing a lot better than you. And the mockingbird again said, No, everyone knows. They've all heard me and my beautiful music. I am indeed the best singer. And again, the crow insisted that he was a better singer. And at that point, the mockingbird said, I'll tell you what, let's have a contest. And the crow said, okay, what kind of contest? The mockingbird said, well, the first animal that passes underneath this branch that we're sitting on, they will be the judge between you and me as to who is the better singer. And the Crow said, well, that's fine. So they sat, and they waited, and they waited, until after a little while, a pig came along. A pig came along and looked up and saw them both there. The mockingbird said, Mr. Pig, would you mind being the judge of a contest? And the pig said, okay, what kind of contest? And the mockingbird said, it's a singing contest, contest between me and this crow. And the pig said, well, I don't know much about music, but I know what I like. Go right ahead. So the mockingbird went first. The mockingbird just reached down deep inside and began to sing this most beautiful, a little bit louder and a little bit sweeter. This music that came from the mockingbird was just absolutely beautiful. And all the woodland creatures said to themselves, wow. This was really a great song. When she was done, she seemed pretty pleased with herself, looked at the crow and said, try to top that. And so the crow said, okay, I will. So the crow began his song and let off the worst, blood-curdling, horrible sounding, if you could call it music, fine, but that's being generous. It was a horrible noise, just screeching and squawking, and it went on and on and on. And then finally, the crow's song came to an end. He was pretty pleased with himself. And then he looked down at the pig and said, Okay, you have heard both of us. You have heard Mrs. Mockingbird, and you have heard me. Tell us, Mr. Pig. Which one of us is the greatest singer? And the pig said, well, I, I hate to disappoint either one of you, but hands down, it's the crow. And then he walked off. And the mockingbird was, was shocked, was, was in tears and began to sob. And the crow said, what are you crying for? The contest was your idea and the rules were your idea. I clearly am the winner. And the mockingbird said, I'm not crying and weeping or upset because you won. I'm crying and weeping and upset because of who it was left to judge me. Now, I only bring this story to your attention to remind you that not all the world will understand you. And I did want to present this story, which I don't know where it came from. But I wanted to present the story, not so that it turned into a chip on your shoulder, but always, always, always remember who gave you your song. Your song, your art, your life, your personality, your talent, all that you are, it comes from the Lord. So, always be careful as to who you let judge you. Okay? All right. Talk to you later.